This this show, this rock Rockstar Auto Man, there's just so many big like I just the crew that is coming and just so excited to jam with everybody. Uh, you know what I mean? It's just the speakers. It's just you guys don't know. I mean, we we promoted it so much, but just in case if you if you haven't been tuned in. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, you know, <laughs> Lisa Copeland is speaking. Lisa Copeland alone is worth like a, 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 a two thousand dollar ticket. You can watch. You can listen to her for free to hear Lisa Copeland. Okay, she owned a Fiat dealership. She has a, a book, Cars Her Way, coming out at that's launching uh, this week in Houston. Uh, she's doing something with iHeart Radio with Chris Martinez. I mean, she is just phenomenal. I heard her speak three times last year in six weeks I heard her speak I felt like I was so privileged you know she was amazing you know Katie Maris uh, positive action will change and, and, and the the female buying experience uh, Kendrick show coach Sherry Wynn Sean Wa uh, Welsh Sean Kelly Frank Lopes is in the house get more with Frank uh, Velco speaking uh, who am I missing? Gosh, I know. Oh, it's Kerry just, it's Wise. Amazing. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's I mean, right. Kerry Wise. Kerry Wise. My God. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Strategy with Jason podcast exclusive Las Vegas Drive edition. You won't want to miss this sizzling discussion. Today, Jason is driving the strip with none other than Anthony Santangelo. Buckle in for some hot talks on a hot day in a hot car with your host, Jason Harris. Good afternoon, Facebook Nation. Anthony Santangelo, your sales trainer and mentor for life, Auto Max Recruiting and Training. I'm here with this man right here. Hey, 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 what's going on? Who are you? I am Jason Harris with Strategy with Jason. Strategy with Jason. Yes, that is. And where are you from, eh? I am from Toronto, <laughs> Canada. Today we are in Las Vegas, Nevada, driving this beautiful 1955 T-Bird, hanging out with my man, Anthony. We're having some, some cool organizations, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> on it. So, so what's going on? So uh, Jason asked me to do this podcast. He's recording the podcast right now. He'll edit it and he'll put it out. But I decided to go Facebook Live as well uh, as we drive through the strip here. Uh, we're in a 1955 Ford Thunderbird, which is the first year the Thunderbird ever came out. It has a power seat. I mean, th th this car is 55. That crazy. 64 <laughs> years old. Right? Yeah, 64 years old. Has a power driver's seat. That that's uh how do you cool kids say that's dope yo? Was it they say I guess or whatever? So <laughs> but uh I'm gonna jump at this point because Jason wants to ask me a bunch of questions, I guess. So I'm gonna you know, I'm the this is the second time this week I've been a host on this or I'm sorry, been a guest on a show. I'm used to being the host, <laughs> yeah, you know. I'm used so to being the host. But I'm gonna shut up at this point, so uh Jason, you take it away. It's well, Anthony, your program, you know, I figured you know? you know we come out here this beautiful day and we just uh jam you know what's been on your mind lately what have you been what have you been consuming what i've been consuming yeah what have you been huh. consuming you know i've been just traveling the country i have been traveling the country just trying to impact lives and uh going from dealer to dealer um kind of like like kane from kung fu legend continues just going from place <laughs> to place and getting into adventures and helping people and you know kind of uh, I guess is uh is, so that, that's is, what drives you know, that's what so, motivates you right oh absolutely, absolutely so when man. did that start like how did that start for you? Wow. Um, well, I'm, I'm my 22nd year in the car business, and my third year as a trainer, and I started feeling this tug on my heart. I guess about four and a half years ago, it was time to get back to others. Mm -hmm. um, I remember having a dinner. I was uh, there was five of us there. It was my protege, uh, Freed Abamar. Uh, uh, ah, Fox's last name there, Freed Abamar. Uh, and his wonderful, at the time, girlfriend, Ashley, now is his wife. Happy, happy Mother's Day, Ashley. Uh, and our uh, good friend, Janice. Janice, happy Mother's Day. Uh, she was there also, who uh, was our receptionist at the dealership. And um, my um, former significant other was with us as well, Christine. And, you know, the girls were talking and Reed was talking to me. And he said, <laughs> Aunt, you know, you really need to, I think you should be doing something more. Like, you really like mastered the sales and all that, just doing something more. And the wheels started turning and I started thinking about it and he was really kind of mentoring me that night. Yeah. Uh, you know, and um, the wheels turned and within about a year or so I, I became a trainer. Uh, but that was kind of the first night that things started um, uh, doing that. Hey, Jerry Fontaine, what's going on, Holly? How are you, my dear? Big shout out to Action Hyundai in Millville on it. So, um, but yeah, so man, that's kind of how it started, you know? Now, what, what continues to motivate you to do it? Uh, it's impacting lives. Is that, it, 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 you, you it, get a it, high it, off that, don't oh, you? Oh, absolutely. Uh, when I get people hired in the corner street that 
have had some difficulties in the past, some struggles, some financial issues, maybe even some legal issues, all those different things, and they get them an opportunity uh, and help them believe in themselves, uh, there is not a dollar amount you can put on that for me. <laughs> there, there just isn't. I mean, that, that, that's just... Um, that's what it's. That's what it's about. And see, uh, it really I, is. I think that's what makes you a real practitioner, right? Is that this is not just a job for you. I mean, th this is a way of life for you. I mean, this is th this is what gets your juices going. This is what gets you going in the morning, right? And and the cool thing is you get to pay. You get paid for it. Isn't that the best part? <laughs> I do. We, 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 don't, we don't get rich off of it. You we know, don't get but, rich uh, off of it. Uh, but you know, it, uh, obviously, it is the way we pay our bills. And uh, but it, it's truly. Um, People have told me that you know that have known me for many years. I found my calling, and, and I kind of agree. I definitely have found my passion, uh, where I care. Um, it, it's it, it's worth it. It's worth the traffic jams. It's worth the flight delays and flight cancellations. Yeah. Uh, it's worth living in a hotel 200 plus nights a year to give people opportunities and have them grow. And then when I get the text messages come in or the where the uh, phone calls come in, Anthony, I, I, I literally just had one 15 minutes ago from one of my uh, new hire salespeople in Tennessee. They took a picture of him selling his first car and then put something in there. And he just texted it to me as I was walking over to see you. Nice. Uh, with it, so I mean, it's just, and then I had a, um, a text three days ago uh, from a salesperson I trained 15 months ago. And she just told me, thank you so much for believing in me, Anthony. Uh, you know, she wasn't the, um, as she put it in her words, uh, she wasn't as easy with her words. Yeah. Although, but she's a little bit of an accent. Uh, she's not from here originally. Uh, but I believed in her. And what she said to me, she said, Anthony, I'm happy that you interviewed me, not anyone else. And that just put tears in my eyes. It really did. Uh, because it's like she's helping in herself and her husband and her daughter. Uh, just She's crushing it up there in Massachusetts, you know. So, it, it's, I mean, like I said, there, there's not a dollar amount you can put on this. It's a better way to live, as Augmentino would say. And it really starts with with Craig at Automax and him, um, you know, starting this uh, organization, as you yep. say, up there in yep. Canada, <laughs> uh, you know, back in 1997. Uh, he started doing this uh, in my third month in the business. I, I was a rookie salesperson when Craig started uh, the Automax recruiting and training, you know, so. Now, okay, would you lean more towards that you're a coach or a motivator, or do you motivate through your coaching? How, how, how do you how do you that's a that? wonderful question that's a wonderful question some people call me a recruiter some people call me i, I feel i feel like, what's that song some people call me a space cowboy right yeah yeah some yeah. the gangster <laughs> love you know <laughs> you're the joker right. yeah the joker the steve miller in the band right. steve yeah. miller in the yeah. band god's a classic one i think we're gonna have to go do karaoke after this well we will be doing karaoke <laughs> tomorrow night that's we right, absolutely we are. that's right yes we that's are right that's a given well, we I got, got our song chat already <laughs> uh, but yeah anyway get back to the point <laughs> On hey Laura Berman, how are you? Uh, Sean, what's going on? Chuck Marlin, hey. Um, uh, people call me a recruiter. They call me a sales trainer. They call me a mentor. Um, they call me a motivational speaker. I've been called. Yep. Um, uh, I, I guess I'm a kind of a mixture of all of them, but I also like to throw in the words guidance counselor. Ooh, I like that because uh, that kind of covers it all, right? Yeah, it's a little bit different because that's what I mean. When you think of a guidance counselor, what do you think? You think of somebody directing this the um, the uh, the, the people in school, the, the, the yeah. children in school, teenagers in school, to give them guidance. Well, that's kind of what I do. I'm a guidance counselor for uh, potential new hire salespeople, existing salespeople, BDC representatives, where I give them guidance of how to get to the next level. So wherever their income is, if it's here and they want to go here, I show them how to do that. If they need an opportunity, I show them how to do that and I believe in them. Some of them struggle with their confidence. Yeah. And... Um, you know, one of the things, I mean, today's Mother's Day, obviously, Jason. Yeah, happy Mother's uh, Day to everyone know, out there. And um, you know, my mom died uh, August to be 25 years. And, uh, you know, she had this confidence about her, but she also had this, I posted something on Facebook before I flew out this morning. And, uh, you know, a lot of people just put a lot of comments in there. And the people that knew Donna, my mom, it's like she had this way of mentoring people and her commitment and perseverance. And, uh, so that's where it came from. Then. Yeah, so that, that's where that root, that, that, that it's, drive it, it, for you it, it, came it, it, from. It's Donna living in yeah. me is, is, is what it is um, to be able to do that. I mean, it, it just it just really is, you know. On and so now, now when you start your guidance counseling with someone, you know, where do you start? What, what's kind of the first steps for you? Well, it all starts with uh, you know when we do new hire stuff, Jason. 
uh, it all starts with somebody applying to the ads. So yeah. uh, I mean, Russell and Automax, uh, we're going to talk about this. We're going to have uh, Joe Lockard and I uh, are going to have a round table uh, to, uh, uh, Tuesday um, after uh, um, almost well, uh, after almost every speaker is done. We're doing the round tables Tuesday afternoon, and then one person will close up at the end. Uh, we're going to talk about the, per, the how you advertise, like what you put in the ads. This is Joe's expertise, mm-hmm. so Joe will talk about this. What you put in the ads and the algorithms to get the algorithms to get people to apply, sure. And, and then it goes to our in-house recruiters, uh, Jason. It goes to uh, you know, big shout out to Mama Jane Schuster. Happy Mother's Day, Mama Jane. I was texting with her this morning, uh, with it, uh, and then to Kyle and then and Denise sometimes helps as well, who's uh, one of Jane's uh, daughters. Happy Mother's Day to you as well, Denise. Uh, you know, and they set that they end up uh, do the in-house recruiting side and set up the interview for us. Okay. And then it comes in, then we do the interviews. Us trainers, we're the ones that travel the country. Uh, you know, it's about the interview. So you have to give everybody the same consistent interview. And I don't want to share too much about what I'm, I'm speaking on this on employee retention on Tuesday. But, well, let's talk. But, but, let's, yeah, and I think that's good because we are going to do. But, but let's talk about like what what should people be looking for now. In talent, because everyone's trying to find good quality talent out there. Mm-hmm. But I don't think necessarily people know what they're looking for these days. It's changed. It's changed, right? Car business has changed. It, the way it, we're buying cars, it, it definitely has. It, 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 it definitely has. Where um, there's a lot of good quality people, and the big thing is, it's looking for reasons to hire, not for reasons not to hire, is really what the the, the, the main objective should be. Yeah. Um, I had somebody in Cla- and and. Uh, that I interviewed, a uh, potential new hire recruit uh, a month ago. And I interviewed this person, and uh, like there was some, some checkered background, we'll just say. Yeah. And, you know, uh, I, I always keep things real. When I first started as a trainer, I would have passed on her. Yeah. But I, uh, I've been able to evolve, and I, I keep evolving and growing. I still have so much to learn. I have so much to learn still, Jace. But... I saw the hunger in her eyes that I saw she turned a page in her life. That's pretty exciting. And I invited her to, to, uh, to new hire uh, uh, training, uh, you know. And I got with the owner, and uh, I told the owner, I said, listen, I invited someone to the new hire uh, orientation, and uh, they have this, this, and this in the background. And he looked at me, he goes, well, the, the, the reason why you're here and Automax is here is I trust you. Yeah. Anthony, uh, you know, we'll interview her and we'll see, but I do trust you. If you see something there, we'll interview her and they hired her. That's pretty and cool. And she's doing well. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's, and this was just a month ago, you know, so it's just, it's, it's exciting. Um, you know, so that's the stuff that just, um, you have to look for that. It, not every applicant's perfect. I'm not perfect. I mean, I, I, I was a horrible interviewee. Uh, you know, I mean, I, 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 oh, I mean, were you just sweating buckets and uh, just no, not I wasn't comfortable sweating at all? At all. Or you? It was, um, sometimes I came across as cocky. You cocky? Uh, <laughs> no, come on. I don't believe it. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> you know, and uh, you know, I had a lot of dealerships, uh, you know, they turned me down, uh, you know, but somebody gave this 20 year old kid a shot. Uh, you know, and I wouldn't be here in this car today if it wasn't, <laughs> wasn't for that, you know. That's true. So. That's true. <laughs> we got our chase car with us right there. It's, oh, chase right next to yeah. us. Oh, awesome. He's making sure he's getting all the footage. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, it's remarkable you do this stuff, dude. I mean, it really is. You're just everywhere. And you, you know go, what? It, it's, it's so different than what your commitment is, you know. Um, Automotive for me, that's that's what that industry got me to where I am today, and I have just so much appreciation and just so much love for what it is, and I and I feel that you know you know as an, as an industry to the general public, we're not looked at at the way that we we should be, you know, and you know anything that I can do as far as content being out there that can maybe help someone or help an owner understand you know the direction of their brand. You know how they want to be perceived to their consumer. You know, I spend a lot of my time in branding. I do a lot of branding myself, yep. obviously, right? Yes, you do. Um, yeah, orange, you're orange all is over my LinkedIn. thing. If you guys yeah. didn't know that, uh, I've worn the same orange tie for the uh, last I, two years. Well, I, not, I, not the same I, orange I, tie. I, I, I knew that. You have, like <laughs> you have seven of them. I have seven of them. Yeah, I knew that because you were at my workshop in Pennsylvania. Yeah, that's right. That's where I met you. 
That's uh, right. You know, with it. So I remember that that story. I listened. To, you know, so I do the seven or, orange I do, ties. Yeah, yeah. Well, I got orange shoes, the orange ties. Yep. I, I drive orange cars. <laughs> you know, and and really, it, what it is is just it's it's a visual representation of what my brand. But then I need to. I, I work on try trying to trying to um, make sure my customers perceive my brand in, in a certain way, right? So you got to understand when it comes to branding. Branding's all perception. Yes. You know, it's how the consumer perceives us and as an individual. In fact, this is probably really important too when you're doing, um, you know, when you're doing recruiting and so you're going in for an interview. You got to understand it, it's what who how that person perceives you. How we want to we want them to perceive us. You mm -hmm. know. And it's a lot of times it's through our actions and our words that people are, are able to perceive us. You know, I, I want people, you know, one of my big goals is, you know, I want people to view my brand as always providing more value than the value we charge, mm -hmm. you know? And, and to do that, I make this wildly large commitment of just producing as much content as possible and hanging out with cool guys like you, you know, <laughs> and, and just trying to really present it out there and hoping that, you know, someone can learn from this and really can, you know, get something out of it. But it's a lot of work. I mean, it, you know that, It right? is. It, it, I mean, it, you went Facebook Live. How long ago did you go Facebook Live? Uh, today? No, no, how long? Oh. And when did you start? Oh, well, here's the interesting thing about Facebook, and, and a lot of people know this, but I guess you don't. When I sold cars for 19 plus years, I refused the fake book, as I called it. Fake, was it? A fake book, F-A-K-E. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I called it fake books. I thought it was stupid <laughs> and dumb. I, I, I thought it was, I had to do with, um, you know, people putting their dinner on there, or for you know, Grandma Moses to see her grandkids three thousand miles away. Yeah, that's all I thought Facebook was about. That's why I called it Facebook. I was wrong. Yeah, I was wrong. So I didn't. I got into Facebook until I joined Automax. You know, Craig asked me. He goes, "I need you to get on Facebook," and I was like, "Why, Craig? Facebook is dumb." <laughs> He's like, "Well, you need to be on Facebook." I'm like, "Well, I have LinkedIn. I'm all over that. I got 8,300 8, followers. That's nice, Anthony, but you have to be on Facebook. I have Twitter. Yeah, I need you on Facebook." And I was like, uh, okay, you know? So I got something on Facebook, and now all of a sudden, like, Facebook's my main thing, where I, I just came off seven straight campaigns, and six of them were booked from Facebook. Wow. Uh, with it. Uh, where, I'll, where I'll be next week was booked via LinkedIn. You know, so it's like, you know, people were just reaching out via Facebook and LinkedIn. It's well, just crazy. It, it's about the content that you put on Facebook, right? Right. I mean, e either, either you had a strategy behind it, or you didn't, but just because you were so organized, organically authentic in your content That's that people were able to immediately relate with your brand and what you were spitting out there weren't just you know uh, words you know for someone to that was a nice Lambo yeah um, <laughs> you know you, you weren't just spitting uh, words out there for the sake of saying them you know it was coming from a deep-rooted authentic place for you so you know when you went on there it's just instantaneous people want to relate with that and they want to be a part of that story right yeah, I mean, and, and that's the key, Jason. It's you got to be real. I'm never going to win a popularity contest. I'm not. <laughs> oh, come I, on. I'm, I'm just not. Oh, come on. People either love me or they hate me. <laughs> There's no in between with me. But I'm going to be the most real person that you've ever met in your life. Yes. That contest, I will win. And I'll be a repeat winner. And I'm it, just going to be real. And I put things out there. I'm authentic. I'm honest. I'm transparent. And over the past 15 months, I've learned to be vulnerable. Something, you know, some a tough Philly Italian dude doesn't do that shit. You know, <laughs> we, we, we don't do that stuff. You know, it's, it's like we're, we're taught to not show that. But the last 15 months, I've been able to make some changes in my life where I'm willing to do that uh, and just keep things real. Uh, you know, with I mean, I mean, even today, my post today, uh, I, you know, I, I, I honored 50 different women that have had a huge impact in my life. That's awesome. And then I also give shit out to the Automax moms that we have. Uh, and also any salesperson I've trained either in person at a dealership or via um, uh, social media, that's a mom as well. Uh, but then I took a picture of my mom's grave that I went to yesterday, because obviously I couldn't go today. Uh, so I'm gonna be here. And I took a picture of it and posted it there. I wouldn't have done that 15 months ago. There's no, no. freaking way I would have done that. No. Uh, you know, it's just, that's like weakness and this and that, but it's not. It's showing people that you're real. Uh, type of thing. And the messages that came in today, uh, my childhood friends, mom, Marie DeAngelis, was a very, very tight friend with my mom. She was, they were like BFFs. And I had tagged her, she's one of the 50 women. And she put some comments on Facebook on that, where I sent her a message, and, and I admit it, I, was, I had tears in my eyes, and I barely get through the message that I sent her, because it was just so impactful uh, <laughs> that, that it was, you know? So, 
So that's what it's about. And when people see that you're real, as um, my friend Jason May says, who will be at, at the event this week, real recognizes real. Yes, uh, 100%. And, and, that, and, that's the, and, that's, and that's the key. You're a real person, Jason. Uh, if you weren't, I wouldn't be in this car. And if I wasn't a real person, I would not be invited in a, in a, to be in this a car. In a 100-degree weather? In a 100-degree weather, right? <laughs> 100, 102, I think yes. it probably is today. Yeah, I, I didn't get dressed <laughs> up like you. You're, 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 you're a, um, a vest and a tie. I'm, and I'm, in a, I'm in a sweat bucket. That's what I'm right, in exactly. right now. <laughs> well, you do have jeans on, you know. So, But I wasn't getting dressed up. I, I'm in my all-in shirt here. Of course, I have my old Max hat, hat, old Max hat on. And I'm in jeans and sneakers, you know. I'll dress up tomorrow and, and uh, really dress up Tuesday when I speak, you know. So. Well, you know what, though? I, I think what you were saying is that there are certain people, you know, you know, I, I would consider you to be an entrepreneur. Yes. You know, absolutely. I, I, really, I really do. 100%. You know, I mean, yep. some people might disagree with that, but I actually, no, I, I would say you're a true, full-blooded entrepreneur. Yep. And, and I find that, I find consistent patterns in, on, in true-blooded entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. and, and typically that there were very key individuals in life that kind of helped and sculpted them then and kind of moved them in that specific direction. Mm -hmm. So what, what would you say, you know, uh, what were three of those people that kind of moved you into that direction? How did they do so? To, to, to become an entrepreneur? Yeah, it just... Well, like a, I mean, I, mean I, I, I guess, I mean, I mean, Fareed kind of, you know, and again, I, I, I trained uh, uh, Fareed. Uh, you know, he's one of my projects and he's doing so great. and. He kind of started talking to me about this himself. Like that night, he was putting me on the carpet. He was mentoring me. Yeah. Uh, so I guess it started there a little bit. Um, no one else really. It wasn't like someone said you should go out and do this. I mean, there's so many people. Yeah. There's so many people that have had an impact in my life, but no one like said, "Hey, you should go out there and be a national sales recruiter and trainer." Yeah. You know, I mean, it's like, not something you go to school for, right? right? I mean, it's, <laughs> it's you know, I, I wanted to be a baseball player. You know, it's just <laughs> uh, you know type of thing. I mean, that's just. Uh, that's what I wanted to do. Uh, I, I, I wanted to be in construction, and, and my heart was there, but the speed wasn't, and I failed. Uh, you know, it's just, um, you know, so it's just, you, you kind of evolve into that. So, I mean, I wouldn't say anyone, like, suggested to me to, to do that, but as far as people impacting my life, I mean, my original mentors, my original management team, Joe Bush, Kevin Lambert, uh, uh, Jeff Marcus, Brian Anderson, Terry Biagi, Lee Timber, and the late George Du Bois, uh, and then a uh, big shout out to Chuck DeSantis as well, who was a senior salesperson, who's now the GM of a dealership. Uh, you know, they definitely instilled um, the training in me necessary to be successful. My fifth month in the business sold two and a half cars on 41 Ops. Wow. So, I mean, I, and they didn't fire my ass. Yeah. Uh, you know, I should have gotten they, fired. They saw something in you. They saw something yeah. in me. Uh, so it, 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 it was it that that for at that point in time it was their their belief in you their confidence in you and that's what kind of again led you in that direction. Yeah, I mean it's, it's still me as a twenty year old kid. I mean Brian Anderson was a, a rookie used car manager at twenty four years old when I was twenty, and uh, I, I saw Brian recently a couple months ago. I stopped and saw him, and um, you know it, it's a, he held me accountable. Now, does it mean that we had these wonderful conversations and everything was romantic? No. We had some knockdown, drag out arguments, him and I. We never fisted cuffs or anything. We had some arguments. But I look, you know, Brian looks at me and I see that pr he's proud of me. And it's this, the, the, same, the, the same look that, that Brian has in his eyes about me is the same look that I have for the salespeople that I train across the country. Yeah. Uh, you, you know, with, with that, I, I want Brian to be proud of me, and he is. Uh, the people, the salespeople I train across the country, they want me to be proud of them, and I am. You know, you know what I mean? So I mean, that that's what it's about. I mean, that's that that instilled in me where I was given a shot, given an opportunity. Uh, you know, uh, with that. So that's and that's why I look for for re, for reasons to. Um, go that next next step, so to speak. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, it really does. It totally does. Oh, man, that's a good backstory. I like putting all that together. That's awesome. So what, what do you... What it's do you, hot. It's, it's very hot. hot right now. It is very Vegas hot. Vegas is getting hot. It's like noon right now. And it's like, it's, it's the, like the sun, sun is beating down. We're in a convertible. <laughs> it's, thank God we got hats on, you know? No kidding. No kidding. <laughs> so what, what's, what's the next step for Anthony? Where, where, where's Anthony going in the next five years? What, what, what's your goal? Uh, doing what I'm doing. Yeah? Doing what I'm doing. Uh, you Running know, your own uh, race, right? Uh, what's that? Running your race? I guess. I mean, I was already... <laughs> Craig, already <laughs> Craig already told me that I never can leave. He told me. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, you know, but uh, it's not what I'm doing. I, I, I would like to be able to have more of a balance of my schedule uh, where speaking at uh, events like I am this week at Rockstar yeah. and doing recruiting and pure training campaigns. I think dealers will be a best practice, and this will sound a little bit skewed coming from me because obviously that's what I do, but it's a best practice for dealerships to um, do pure training for their sales and BDC staffs as well. Not just recruiting, but, but everything. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, with it, so. Um, so that pretty much is doing what I'm doing and then just continuing with that, um, uh, you know, with that maybe speaking at some more events. Uh, and then just keep learning. I'm going to keep learning. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep growing. Just keep going. Uh, just keep yeah. going forward. Uh, keep uh, moving, I'm right? I'm screw up and I'll be held accountable. Uh, you know, big shout out to two of the veteran trainers at Automax, John, uh, Tracy and Bobby Stevens. Uh, they mentor me. They help me. Uh, you know, Craig and Joe and Ernie, the owners of Automax, help me. Uh, you know, it's the conversations that, that you have. One of our in-house recruiters, Danielle Burke, uh, we don't talk a ton, but when we do, I know for me, when I hunt the phone, I feel like I grew. Yeah. I feel like I grew, uh, you know, uh, with it. So, um, you know, Danielle's mom, Mama Jane, she's an in-house recruiter also. Uh, she's always watching over us. I always feel like her, I always feel her, Mama Jane's love when I'm traveling <laughs> this country, you know, type of thing. Uh, you know, with it, our, our, our amazing, amazing controller, Jody Atkins, uh, is just, you know, she has the biggest heart in the world. Uh, she absolutely does. You know, she doesn't just pay us. She's just so much more than that. Uh, so so, us, he, so. Here, here's something I find that's really interesting with guys like yourself and, and myself is that, you know, you know, for us, um, you're right, you know, we don't have necessarily an end game. You know, we're, we're kind of like um, marathon runners. By the way, I hate marathon runners. Like just the whole concept. Do you think I run it, any races it, at it, all? Anybody out there takes offense to that, I apologize, but I just, I can't understand. But, but I, I can understand, I can't understand actually running it, but I can understand why you do it and the energy you get from it, right? It's like a marathon runner, they get into there knowing that there's gonna be a level of pain. They just know that it's gonna be painful, you know? And they find their rhythm of pain mm -hmm. Then they maintain that rhythm of pain for just a long period of time. Yes. And, and I find guys, you know, that just, you know, it, like you said, because you didn't know where your end game was. You don't have that big goal because it's for you. It's just you're just running the marathon. Yeah. You just keep running the marathon, and we're kind of messed up a little bit because we kind of like that pain. We want to maintain that 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 pain. But you know, for people out there, what kind of advice would you give them that they're stuck in that place where it's always a constant sprint for them? You know, it's like a sprint to the end of the month. It's a sprint to this. It's just how mentally and physically exhausting it is to always try to be sprinting to the, you know, to that next space. I, I think the best advice I could give Jason, and again, I really appreciate doing this. Chris Beard has hopped on here. Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. Um, <laughs> is, is this, embrace the journey. Yeah. In, in, embrace the journey uh, and just understand that, you know, I mean, my late mentor, George Boyce, the marathon on a race, he used to say. Uh, you know, and just keep, it's almost like that David Goggins. You want to stay uncomfortable. My friend Stacy Cross, who has the comfort killers, you want to be uncomfortable. Uh, you know, I, I, I want to keep growing. There's things I've done um, that in the last two, two and a half years, I never would have did. I said never, Jason, <laughs> never, never. And now I've removed that word from my vocabulary. Uh, you know, I, I just don't like that word at all. Uh, you know, I, it's just... Hell, I was told that word a, a week ago, and, and it crushed me. Uh, you know, and, and um, but I, I, I don't have that word in my vocabulary. Yeah. Uh, you know, type, type, type of thing. You know, and, and it's, um, you know, it, that's the whole key. It's like, are you learning? Are you learning? Stay humble. You know, I, I, I've never arrived. I, I tell the salespeople I train across country, I ain't no better than you. Just because I'm standing up and I have some fancy title in my name doesn't make me better than you. Because I'm not. I'm a sinner. I make mistakes. I, I, I make some huge mistakes. Uh, I didn't um, treat every customer as if they were dead at midnight, the Aguandino principle that we teach in our, in, in our um, orientation and trainings. Uh, you know, um, I, I didn't do that but, uh, all the time. Yeah. I did it a lot, but not all the time. And I just see a lot of holes in my game uh, with it. And that's why I just want to keep learning. That's why I try to listen uh, more on it. So, and, and Chris said it right. Stay uncomfortable, great. Absolutely, Chris. Hey, Lisa Copeland, how are you? Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow, girl. Happy Mother's Day so much to yourself and to Alex uh, and to your mom, Susan. On it, so, uh, but that's what it's about, buddy. I yeah. Mean, it, you know, it just really is, you know? Well, you, you got to find that rhythm, and everybody's got a, diff a, a different speed and a different rhythm where they can get into. 
you know, but it's, it, it's staying positive and just trying to consistently, you know, run your own race and not run someone else's race. I think that's also really important, you know? Yeah. You know, spe especially, you know, working at a dealership and I know we all have, you know, goals and objectives and mandates that we have to hit, but you know, you're running the race for yourself. You know, you're not running the race for somebody else. It's, it's living in the moment, Jason. Yeah, 100%. I mean, that, that's what it is. You have to, and that's something that I struggled with when I sold cars uh, for two decades, that I had a hard time living in the moment because I let the past results just, you know, for lack of a better term, just F with my head. I mean, yeah. I, 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 I really did. Uh, where it's like a customer didn't show for an appointment, I get all bent out of shape. Uh, you know, I mean, it's just uh, my attitudes, my belligerentness, uh, you know, all those different type of things. And it's like, if you live in the moment, because we're angry, we're bitter, we're resentful, uh, you know, all those different things, it's because we're living in past results. Yeah. And we gotta stop doing that shit. Yeah. You know, focus on the present. Focus on the present and, and your future will be better. Uh, how you can grow, how you can evolve. I mean, that, that's really what it comes down to, you know? It is, man, it totally is, 100%. Gosh, this city is crazy, eh? What's that? So this city's crazy. Yes, I heard the A. Yes. A. Oh, <laughs> did you make that? It's gonna be awesome. Well, well Katie Maris here this week too. <laughs> hey, what's uh, going on, Katie? You know, Katie comes here, so you know, uh, and her positive action will change. I love that. Yeah. Oh, well, you know, that. I'm super excited to have you guys come for Game Changer. Yes. That's yeah, that's, well, that's when is it? Blast. August 16th, 19th. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 16th. 16th. Yep. 16th. It's a Friday, yes. right? In Toronto. It's a Friday. Friday in Toronto. Yes. Yes. It's gonna yep. be very exciting. Yeah, and I, uh, I need more details of that. We just, <laughs> right? yeah. What's going on? Well, we just had Sean Kelly uh, yes, this yes, last week, yep. and Sean, Sean like brought it home, man. He crushed it. Just what what a, what a guy! It was so awesome to bring him up yeah. there and, and have a bunch of Canadians listen to his story. And it's I'm so excited to have you come and Katie be a part of it. Katie being local is going to be yes. Is, well, is that's why I wanted her involved. When you reached yeah. out to me, I said I got to have my yeah. girl Katie Maris there. It's right in her hometown. Yeah, I well, said I got to share the stage with you know, her. And you know? the, the idea behind these things, you know, they're just little. 40 to 50 person workshops and it's just time to get intimate and create action plans and just you know really bring it back to your dealership with some real actionable items you know i still get a lot of crap because people still think that it's a sales pitch and it's not <laughs> you know you know and it's interesting you said that because the, the one thing about rockstar the event and just like your events that you yes Jason, very very true in, 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 in toronto and, and i don't and, and i don't want to forget i want to give a shout out to sean kelly but let me finish this point real quick is there's no sales pitch, you know, like Chris Spear and Matt Koenig put their necks out on the line. They went all in yep. and made this event free, free. Yep. They did. Okay. Because they just want to impact people's lives. Yeah. The sponsors are going to take care of their bills. Okay. I get it. You know, but people can just come for free. All you have to do is get here and it's a tax rate off of the airfare and the, and the uh, hotel and the hotel is cheap as dirt, you know, and it's so cheap to the hotel, you know, it's like, to be able to do that and to just give back, you know, and it was Sean Kelly, and Sean was there last week with you. He lost his father the week prior. Oh, I know. It was, it was amazing uh, that he you came. Know, Sean, I'm going to give you a big hug when I see you today or tomorrow, whenever I see you. And, um, you know, but he sat there and he gave back. Yes. Uh, and that's, that's what Sean Kelly's about uh, in car motivators, you know, and he, he's amazing. He really is. I had the privilege to meet him at, at the last Las Vegas Rockstar in October. Uh, you know, with it, so it, it's just it's just truly remarkable. It, um, so big shout out to Sean Kelly. Oh yeah, and Sean's gonna be here tomorrow. Yep. No, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, it's tomorrow. Tomorrow's tomorrow. Monday. Yeah. Okay, so someone find the mark coming in. Yep, yeah. Okay. So that's gonna be a blast hanging out. Yep. Yeah, man. Th this this show, this rock Rockstar Auto, man. There's just so many big like I just the crew that is coming and just so excited to jam with everybody. Uh, you know, I mean, it's just the speakers. Just you guys don't know. I mean, we we promoted it so much, but just in case if you if you haven't been tuned in. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, you know, <laughs> Lisa Copeland is speaking. Lisa Copeland alone is worth like a, 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 a two thousand dollar ticket. You can watch. You can listen to her for free to hear Lisa Copeland. Okay, she owned a Fiat dealership. She has a, a book, Cars Her Way, coming out at that's launching uh, this week in Houston. Uh, she's doing something with iHeart Radio with Chris Martinez. I mean, she is just phenomenal. I heard her speak three times last year in six weeks I heard her speak I felt like I was so privileged you know she was amazing you know Katie Maris uh, positive action will change and, and, and the the female buying experience uh, Kendrick show coach Sherry Wynn Sean Wa uh, Welsh Sean Kelly Frank Lopes is in the house get more with Frank uh, Velco speaking uh, who am I missing? Gosh, I know. Oh, it's Kerry just, it's Wise. Amazing. Oh yeah, that's right. How did that's I right. Kerry Wise? Kerry Wise. My goodness, you know, 
Uh, Michelle speaking of uh, the Deno Jean, I believe it's how, I have to ask her how to pronounce her last name because I, I've never met her before. Uh, I'll have to answer that. Um, oh, am I missing anybody? Who am I missing, Jason? There's 12 of us. <laughs> I know. There's, but it, it's just, you know, it's amazing though. A Christian Jorn uh, is, is, is oh, yeah, speaking yeah, yeah, also, yeah. you know? So it's just, yeah, it's just, it's really remarkable. It really is, you know? Well, it's just, it, it is literally a, a rock star lineup of people that are, you know, real practitioners and what they do. And for Matt and Chris, you know, to put this on and, and do it truly in the benefit of, of others and, and really not necessarily in the benefit of themselves, J just says so much about the guys, you know? And that's why, you know, when I saw that instantaneously, I wanted to be a part of that. I want to be associated with that brand. That's what my brand's all about, you know? So I, I immediately said, look, dude, I'm jumping on a plane, I'm coming down. I want, I want to build as much content around here. I want everybody in Canada to know what's, what this is, you know, and next year I want to see a big Canadian, you know, show up next year. Absolutely. F flock on down here. Flock it's on some nice down. weather, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? No, Canadian geese, right? Is that what it is? Canadian <laughs> yep, geese, right? Yep. <laughs> Got to flock on down here to Vegas. I mean, this is like my home away from home if you guys didn't know that. Uh, you know, I think you know I'm a poker player. Yeah. You know, so I mean, it's a, you know, about this is, I think it's my 14th or 15th time I've been here. Uh, I really should just get a second home here. I really should, <laughs> you know, so I might do that, you know, but uh, uh, I love it here. I absolutely do. And um, just the, the camaraderie and teamwork. I know I'm going to grow so much over the next two days. Obviously, I'm not going to be at a campaign this week, but this is the time for me to recharge my batteries and learn from the other speakers and, and, and the round tables uh, as well. Uh, El Patron Rudy is going to be doing a round table. I can't wait to see Rudy again, uh, who's a remarkable. Oh, you know? no, I'm looking forward to jam with you. You know, it's, so, it's, it's cool because there's so many guys here that I've had such great connections with on LinkedIn and social media, and I've never had an opportunity you know, to really get to know you know, one-on-one, -on -one, so I'm super, super excited about doing it. Speak of recharging batteries, uh, because we're in a 1955 uh, T-Bird um, <laughs> and it is over 100 degrees today, it is hot as crap and she is overheating. Wow. So we are going to pull over and let this bad boy cool down. Yes. <laughs> we don't need to break down in Vegas. You know? Yeah. Oh, right there. Who says what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, right? <laughs> I know. We're going to share a lot of shit on social media what happens in Vegas <laughs> know, in the next just, couple of days. You know? i got to find some shade for this monster. Yeah. i got to find some shade. We're, uh, I love classic pull, cars. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do right here. I'm going to yep. pull it right in here. Well, kind of. Kind of. <laughs> we'll make it work. There we go. Look at that. We'll see here until we get yelled at. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Let's see who's right, on here. Amy Bach is on here. Off. My fellow Pennsylvanian. How I'm, are you? I'm overheating. Amy? It's from this this conversation that we're having. It's so fire. It's so Just on so fire. It's hot. Is that it, yeah, we, we have to actually let it cool down. So we're going to let it cool down on? for a bit.